Alright, so I thought I'd show you the spring trap figure today. Now, I've made quite a few spring traps and I've shown you little bits of ones before in videos and as you can, if you've seen the other videos, you'll know this one actually looks quite different. Now, what I'd normally done for spring trap was actually um, use a motorbike helmet. Like, at first I used a Lego motorbike helmet and then I used the Spaceman helmet and I would build up on that, whereas with this one I actually did it all freehand over a normal Lego head. Now, I was actually surprised with how well it turned out. I think this one looks better than the others, but Apart from one, one time I got the space helmet, no it was the motorbike helmet, I did a motorbike bonnie and I did a motorbike helmet spring trap as well, like I used the same technique for both of them and it actually turned out really well but then the next time I did it, it didn't look the same, like it's one of the things that's really hard to get the same each time, especially when you do it from the ground up so I'm going to keep practicing with this method of making it because like I said I think this one turned out pretty well. So I'll keep practicing and then eventually I'll be able to get the perfect spring trap head and I can make a mold out of it like I've done for some of my other figures. In case you haven't seen my other videos, basically I've got a Foxy, a Toy Bonnie and a Freddy. I've got a Foxy, a Toy Bonnie and a Freddy and they're molded so basically what that means is each time I want to make a new figure I can just take the mold and I pour in liquid resin. That's like a, it's like a liquid that you mix together and it dries into hard plastic. And then basically it saves me having to mold the head and I can spend more time doing other bits on the figures because like for example the bodies each time I hand sculpt the bodies like all the damage you see on spring trap it'll never be the exact same on two of my figures like sometimes I put these on eBay and stuff because I've been asked quite a lot to sell the figures so I have been selling them a little bit but yeah this gives them a more unique feel you know no one anyone that buys one of my figures wouldn't get one exactly the same kind of thing like the paint will always be slightly different the body sculpting will always be slightly different so you actually get you know, they're, they're always unique and I quite like that about them. It's better than just, well in my opinion, it's better than them all being exactly the same. Everyone's is, it's, it has sort of like a personal touch, but but yeah, anyway, enough about that. I was just wanting to sort of show you the figure anyway. On this one, I did uh, I did miss a few of the wires and stuff off. This is more of like a prototype version. There's a few details missing, but I was just testing damage and I was testing different paints. I'm finding it quite difficult to find a nice not a yellow because they're not really yellow alley but they're sort of like an off yellow color and uh, the golden freddy and spring trap especially is very like it's like very faded yellow and stuff so i've just been, I've just been trying to get the color right because obviously that's something i want to get right when i make more of them i don't want them to all be different colors because that would just be a bit strange so i've just been testing a few different paints to try them out but the silver i used on this one wasn't it's a bit bright you can see that it's a bit bright but it still looks pretty good but where the ears damaged and a few of the damaged bits on the body and stuff i should probably put a few wires and things i would sculpt them on with green stuff and then paint over them now you can see on this figure actually it's it's quite similar to the where did the foxy figure with the feet like basically you just saw the foot off and then you put the skeleton leg inside i'm going to make a video to show you all how to do that at some point i'm going to actually make a few tutorial videos soon showing you how to make some of the five nights at freddy's figures like the most easy way possible so you can make your own at home because it is actually pretty fun to do it's really enjoyable especially when sometimes they don't turn out so great and they do take practice but when you get on you're happy with it you know you, you feel really pleased with the work you know but yeah, that's everything for today anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my other videos and as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.